Check, 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 check. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? It's this be John. I'm gonna do a quick rundown of the looping. I know some of y'all from using Serato Itch were concerned about you know turning the looping on and um, pretty much the slots when you enable the loop if it would jump to the loop or would it just you know turn it on and you can it'll come to the loop whenever you get to there kinda like how Serato does it so good news is it, it does act like Serato Scratch Live so you can enable the loop and it'll just start looping whenever once it gets to the beginning of the the loop so on I'm playing a quick song in here as you can see in slot one I have a loop set at 10 seconds and then once if I enable that it turns it on and once it gets to the looping section it'll stay looped but if you do a loop roll or any other type of looping it'll disengage it and then using the shift keys you have a few different options like you can activate a loop you can select a slot so holding shift down and hitting the end for slot select it'll scroll through your loops so once you have a um, like say loop one selected you can either activate the loop or jump to the loop by jumping to the loop you just gotta hit reloop so it'll jump to the loop same thing you can exit it and if I'm, if I'm playing here and I just want to activate the loop like, like ahead of time hold down shift and hit auto loop which is loop activate so then it'll just stay active and when, once it gets to it it'll loop If I start doing a, let's say a roll effect, and then if I hit shift and reloop, it's gonna jump back to the last spot I did the roll. Show you one more time. 